he is the hero of all of our stories. It is not us, but him. Amen. Please know that throughout the worship service, the altars are open to come and worship before him. Fear the Lord and serve him faithfully with all your heart. For consider what great things that he has done for you. Let us take a moment to consider what great things God has done for us. And as I read God's holy scripture, remember these specific ways in your life that you are experiencing blessings from God. Because, saints, thanksgiving produces praise. And we are surrounded by the goodness of God on every side of us. And so we are blessed to have a place to call home and experience his providential provision. For the scripture says, My people will dwell in a peaceful habitation, in secure dwellings and in quiet resting places. And again, I have not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his descendants begging bread. And we are blessed that the creator of all things visible and invisible hears and answers our prayers. For the scripture says, All things whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer, believing ye shall receive. And we are blessed with a hope that can prevail through whatever we face. For the scripture says that our light affliction, which is but for a moment, is working for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. And again, for God's plans towards us are to give us a future and a hope. And we are blessed with peace of mind and heart. For the scripture says, peace I leave with you, and my perfect peace I give to you. And we are blessed with strength to go through our every day. For the scripture says, my grace is all that you need. For my power is the greatest when you are weak. And again, my flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart, and he is my portion forever. And the greatest blessing that we have received, we are blessed that we have received the forgiveness and the blood that covers us from our sins. For the scripture says, blessed is that person whose transgression is forgiven and whose sin is covered. And again, rejoice because your names are written in heaven. Amen. For Jesus has come to preach the gospel to the poor, to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to set at liberty those who are oppressed and to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. And we have all experienced these blessings in our lives. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Let us enter in prayer. Dear Lord, we come before you and we rejoice that we have experienced salvation and that our names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Lord, we thank you that through the blood of Jesus we can come to you now and offer you our praise and our worship. Truly, Lord, we do live in abundant blessings from you day by day. And may, may our lips not be weary of singing heart praise to you from hearts full of thanksgiving for what you have done for us. What a glorious thought it is, Father, that even with all of these blessings that you shower on us, even still, the best days are ahead of us. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we come to you now in worship, and may you be blessed by our praise. And all of this... In Jesus' name we pray, and all God's people said, Amen. When upon life's billows you are tempest-tossed, when you are discouraged thinking all is lost, count your many blessings, name them one by one, and it will surprise you what the Lord has done. Yes, count your blessings, name them one by one.
for no man can come unless you draw him. We ask that you would draw our hearts afresh. I pray, Lord, for every soul that is in this building right now, from the oldest to the youngest, that if there's a single person in this building who does not know you, that right now your spirit would begin to draw them, that your precious Holy Spirit would begin to plow the soil of their hearts to receive the seed of your word. We thank you, Lord, that in your mercy you devised a means whereby we who are guilty were not eternally banished from your presence, but we have been reconciled. We have been redeemed. Forever we will be grateful for the cross of Jesus Christ, where Jesus was obedient and laid down his life so that we could have life eternal. Father, we ask that you would continue to move in this service, that you would touch our hearts, that you would change us, and that you would conform us into the image of Jesus Christ. We ask all these things in your precious name, and all God's people said together, 